everyone, I'm Jessica Dahlcord here at CTIA 2012 in New Orleans where I've gotten my hands the Samsung Galaxy S3 devices. And these are the world phones, so they are unlocked. They come in two colors, marble white and pebble blue, but I think it looks a little bit gray myself. So we're going to take a look at this phone. So this is quite a large phone. It's got a really sleek and glossy surface on it. it feels really nice in the hand, conforms really well, just feels really good to hold. The screen is rather large. It's 4.8 inches here. Um, it's got an HD display, so it's HD Super AMOLED. It's pretty, the colors are sharp. It looks really nice and it makes other sites look really nice when you're looking at them. So it really shows off websites, movies, photos, and the works. So it does run Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich on here. That is the latest and it comes with a lot of fun apps on it, a lot of things that Samsung added. So there's something on here called S Voice, which is sort of like a Siri-like presentation. It adds a couple of enhancements to an app that already existed with voice commands. Hi, Galaxy. You can talk to it. You can program in some commands. Um, for instance, what's the weather like? and it will return those results for you. So there is a little bit of a limit it's, uh, into what you can say, um, but it is a pretty fun thing that I think a lot of people are gonna like using. There's also an app on here called All Share Play, and if you load All Share onto other devices like your computer or other phones, then you'll be able to connect to them, and see their content, send your content over there as well. So there are many other sharing apps on here as well. Um, for example, you can go into the camera, select a photo, and when you share that photo, you will be able to share it to Groupcast, which is related to AllShare. Now, anybody else who has the Groupcast app right now, just Samsung Galaxy S3 phones, um, will be able to get your picture as well. Other camera software on here that gets a makeover, we get first shot and we get HDR on here, plus there's some sharing as well. There's also something on here called S Beam, which is a lot like Android Beam, except that it's been enhanced, so you can now share files as well as URLs for internet sites and apps. You basically just tap the phones together, press to Beam, and you can send your file. Let's talk about some of the phone's other features. It's got a 1.9 megapixel camera up front, and that also captures 720p HD video. On the back, there's an 8 megapixel camera that captures 1080p HD video. There's also a flash here. Under the hood, it runs a 1.4 quad core Samsung Exynos 4 processor. So that's going to be really fast speeds. This is the global version. We're not sure what it's going to be for the US yet. So actually, there's going to be a lot of variation in capacity, at least with this global version. It will come in either 16 gigabytes, 32, or 64 gigabytes. And there's even room for a 64 gigabyte card for external storage. So this phone is coming to the UK first. That's going to be May 29th, and there's no pricing yet. An LTE-ready version should be coming to the US sometime this summer. So taking a first look at both colors of the Samsung Galaxy S3 for CNET, I'm Jessica Dalcord here at CTIA 2012. You can take a full look at these phones and all other coverage at CNET.com.